Hello everybody, this is Satya Malik from learnopencv.com. And today I'm going to show you how to run our code for human action recognition using Detectron 2 and LSTM. As always, you go to our GitHub repository, which is spmalik slash learnopencv. You can see it here. Go to the readme file. That's the most convenient place because once you reach the readme file, you can see all our uh, blog posts, link to all our blog posts, and the associated code right there. We want to see how to run the code for this particular project. So we click on the code. And here, the only file that is important, we are going to download this file, human underscore action underscore classification. Uh, this is a Python notebook. We are going to download that and we are going to upload it on Google Colab. And it so happens that I already have this file downloaded. Otherwise, you can simply click on raw. Uh, you can actually go to that file and um, you know click on raw right here. And alt download, uh, you can click on and it downloads. So uh, now the file is ready, you know, it's right here. We are going to go to Google Colab and upload this file onto Google Colab. So new, upload notebook, and we are going to choose the file that I just downloaded. Uh, it's right here, gets uploaded. And this is how it looks, right? So this is going to download the entire Learn Open CV repository and work uh, from there. So it's going to take a little bit of time. I'm going to forward if uh, some of these things are taking longer time. So right now it's cloning the GitHub repository, the entire Learn Open CV GitHub repository. All right, we are done. Next, we go and check into this directory. We are just checking into that learn OpenCV directory and human action recognition using Detectron 2 and LSTM. Now we are going to install, inside that directory, we have this requirements.txt file, which has all the requirements uh, that are necessary to run this code. So let's just uh, install all the requirements. Again, this thing can take a bit of time all right, so all the packages have been installed. There is a little error which doesn't matter in our case. Uh, so we will just ignore it for now. Uh, now we are going to inst uh, import Torch and see whether the version is correct. And if the version is not 1.8 and the code doesn't work, there is a chance that you'll have to install this manually. Uh, we are also going to install Detectron 2. Detectron 2 is basically an object detection framework for PyTorch. Next, we are going to install ngrok, ngrok. Ngrok allows you to basically run a web server on your, uh, on, on your uh, Google Colab machine and expose a URL to that web server outside to the entire world. So we'll see how it is done. Let's, uh, let's just go through the motion and install this. So that got installed quickly. Now we are going to start a web server, a mini web server um, and Okay, so the web server also got started. And now we are going to find out what is the uh, you know, uh, URL for our web server. We run this uh, code and this is the URL for our web server. Now let's copy this and go over here and try to see what happens. It says that, oh, there is a web server running, but uh, you know, there is no application, localhost 5000. Um, there is nothing there, so let's go and run our web server. Um, this is how we run our web server. This app is basically the web server. So we run it and you can see it's running now. Let's go and refresh this guy. We just have to wait for this model to finish downloading. Once this model has downloaded, the web server will be ready for uh, our application. Okay, so this is all ready. Now, if we refresh this, okay, so this is our web application. And you can see this video is a sample video that we have provided with the code. Here you can see a 
uh, a little kid jumping um, and then clapping and then waving uh, his uh, hand. And we're just going to, for, for simplicity, we are simply going to run this, um, run this video and we're going to submit this video. And as soon as we submit this video, if you go back to our web server, it should, uh, it should receive that information. And this can take uh, a little, uh, you know, a few seconds. And as you can see that it processed um, in 35 seconds, took a long time, and maybe I'm not running it on, my, uh, on a GPU, but the total number of fr frames it processed was uh, 304. And let's see, uh, once it is done with this, we get the output video. And on the output video, we are showing, you know, the person is clapping. Uh, you can see it shows that the person is, uh, the kid is clapping. And it also shows uh, the skeleton of, that we determined using Detectron 2. And now the uh, kid is waving. I hope you liked our instructional video. I encourage you to go try out this notebook on Google Colab yourself, modify the code, try your own videos and see how it works. And if you like the video, please share it with your friends, subscribe to our channel and uh, turn on the notification. But more importantly, if you're thinking about a career in computer vision, machine learning and AI, please join our courses at opencv.org slash courses. These are the best courses available for beginners and we start from the very basics and take you all the way to mastery. And that's it. Please check the courses out. Thank you so much.